Okay, we're gonna be replacing a wheel speed sensor on a 2001 Chevy Silverado, but that's also gonna be for 2001 to 2006 Chevy Silverado, GMC Yukon, Tahoe's, Suburbans, and even the three quarter tons and, and all of the half tons are gonna be the exact same way. So when replacing this, you're gonna to have to remove your caliper, you're gonna to have to remove your rotor. You're gonna remove your caliper bracket bolts. There you go. And your lower one, and that's gonna make your caliper loose. And you can just pull this whole guy off in one shot. Wham, bam. Okay, then we're gonna pull the rotor off, and then you're gonna be here. And here's gonna be your speed sensor hiding right there. And you're gonna need an Allen head for that guy. So you're gonna need a five millimeter Allen head. And we can get that into focus here. There we go. And that guy, you're gonna pull that bolt. And after you pull that bolt, this guy's gonna be tough. It's gonna been in there a long time. It's typically rusty. So you're gonna have to wiggle that with a set of pliers or spray some penetrating lube. All right, we got the old one out. It came out good. Got the hole looks like, cleaning the debris you might have. And then we're gonna install a new one. So we're gonna take a little bit of this grease that it comes with, and you can just apply a little bit on the sensor and the seal. That's gonna keep that seal from breaking when you install. You can also use wheel bearing grease or other types of lubricants to lubricate it. That way you don't pinch your seal or, or have water bypass it later because you damage it. All right, so you're gonna go through the back there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right through that panel there. And then once you got it there, you're gonna go ahead and insert it. So you definitely don't wanna to crank too hard. That's it installed. And you just wanna do this with a quarter inch ratchet. They're very sensitive. Quarter inch ratchet, hand tight. That's it, it's installed just fine. You will break it real easily, so be careful. Make sure that all your connections are connected properly back in the spots that they're supposed to be because if you don't have this thing in the place it's supposed to be, you will have a lot of problems. This thing will rub against your tire, you will destroy the sensor, and they will not warranty it.